me again, Cherise, and today we are going to talk about the Ordinary Skincare Products. So I've been using this brand on and off before, and I've been using this with my other skincare products. Then I started having more trust with the brand, and I thought that I would be using strictly just the Ordinary Skincare for a month for my AM and PM regimen, except for the toner. For the toner, I use the Ole Hendrickson Dark Spot corrector toner. So this is my stash of the ordinary skincare products and my morning and evening routine consists of eight products and it only cost me 56 Canadian dollars. So if you're looking for a skincare regimen that would solve your dry skin, your textured skin, and some acne here and there, and also hyperpigmentation without breaking the bank, then keep on watching. The Ordinary Skincare has a lot of products and it can be overwhelming. So I suggest that you go to womenshealthmag.com. I'll just put the link down below. That's where I got my idea for my daily skincare regimen. And they basically sort the regimen by skin type so it's easier to follow. So here's my morning and evening regimen step by step. I'll also be posting a summary of it after I've discussed the steps. And if you have the same skin concern as I have, take this chance to print screen the summary so you can reference back to it. For my cleanser, I use the Isqualen cleanser. It is said that Squalene balances oil production and has powerful anti-aging properties as well as anti-inflammatory benefits to help with skin conditions such as acne and eczema. And then my second step is using my Ole Hendrickson Glow 2OH Dark Spot Toner. I use this because I have hyperpigmentation on my cheek. And then my third step is using the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA. It's made up of multiple amino acids, fatty acids, urea, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and many other compounds that are naturally present on the skin. This lightweight cream can be applied after all your serum. So as a general rule, all the thin skincare products goes on first. And then heavier consistency, such as this natural moisturizing factor HA, like this, goes last because it's heavier. So I go in between the natural moisturizing factors plus AH and the acetic acid suspension as my moisturizer. So I usually use this if I find that my skin has a lot of texture, a lot of bumps. I use this instead, but if my skin is calmer, I use the Natural Moisturizing Factors HA. So the Azelaic Acid Suspension 10% brightens the skin tone while visibly improving the evenness of skin texture and reducing the look of blemishes. And then the last step, which you shouldn't forget to use every morning, is the sunscreen. I don't know where I put mine, but I use it every day and suddenly when I'm filming, I can't find it. I use the Ordinary Mineral UV Filter SPF 15 with antioxidants. It protects your skin from UV rays and it also gives your skin nourishment. And then for evenings, I do step 1 and 2 and then I change to step 3. Step 3, I use the Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This formula uses three forms of HA with varying molecular weights, as well as HA cross polymer to offer multi-depth hydration and visible plumping. And the addition of vitamin B5 enhances the surface hydration. For the fourth step, I use the lactic acid 10% plus HA. This 10% formulation offers mild exfoliation and is supported with purified Tasmanian pepper berry known to reduce signs of inflammation and, and sensitivity that is often associated with exfoliation. This can give your skin a little tingling sensation. I recommend you do a patch test first. And if you're very sensitive, you can also use two drops of the lactic acid with three drops of the hyaluronic acid. You can actually dilute it. And I only use this once or twice a week. My fifth step is caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG from green tea on my under eyes. And then my sixth step is to use salicylic acid 2% which I dot directly on a pimple in the morning or in the evening if I have any. 
And then the last step for the night is using my natural moisturizing factors plus AH or my azelaic acid suspension 10% when my skin is more problematic or more texturized. Here's the summary of my routine, morning and evening with its price. This day and night routine, which consists of 8 products, only costs 56 Canadian dollars. Unbelievable. This is the same cost as one high-end skincare product. I've also used their Marula Oil and their 100% Organic Cold Press Moroccan Argan Oil, but I decided not to use this on my daily skincare regimen. And I'll touch base on that when I tell you the products that, that I absolutely, absolutely love and I think is worth rebuying and the products that I don't really like and I don't think that I would repurchase. So after using the Ordinary Skincare products for a month, here are the products that I absolutely, absolutely love and would repurchase again and will be part of my skincare regimen. First on the list is my Azelaic Acid. I love this because when I use it in the evening, immediately when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels way softer. You can see your skin's texture change immediately after one use. So I love this product. I was actually skeptical on using this in the morning, although it says that you can apply this AM or PM just because it's an acid. But I used this one time in the morning and I didn't have any reaction with the UV rays, with the sun. So I recommend using this during the evening first and then just test it out. My second favorite, actually it's a tie in between the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 and the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA. This really hydrated my skin. My skin is plumper. I don't have any dry patches anymore. These two combined would really hydrate your skin and would really plump up your skin. So I love this. I also like that this Hyaluronic Acid can be combined with other acids so that you can dilute them. So this is a keeper. My third favorite is the salicylic acid. I use this when it's a time of the month and I have few pimples. It really dries my pimple out. It wouldn't take just one night. It fades in about two to three days and it wouldn't leave any scarring so I love this one. And then my fourth favorite is the sunscreen. love it because it's very lightweight and you can see a little white cast on it but eventually it will fade away. And now here are the products that I don't really like and wouldn't recommend and wouldn't repurchase. So the first one is this caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG. When you look at the website, there's a lot of disclaimer on this and that to me is already a red flag. When I think of caffeine, I think of like a more awake skin, but it didn't really do anything on my under eyes. It didn't hydrate it, it didn't make it plump. It just didn't do anything. It didn't harm it, but it just didn't do anything. So I wouldn't recommend this. The second product that I did like is this Lactic Acid 10% plus HA 2%. I just, I just think that I am already getting the benefits of an even texture with my Azelaic Acid and I prefer this more than this. So I'm not going to repurchase this Lactic Acid. Also, this Lactic Acid has a, I don't know, like a chemical smell and I really don't like that smell on my face so I'm not going to repurchase this. Just this. Again, it didn't do anything bad on my skin but I prefer the acetic acid and I think that they just claim to do the same thing. The third product that I wouldn't repurchase is this 100% cold press virgin marula oil. Also just because I prefer using the natural moisturizing factor HA and this marula oil feels warm on my face. I just don't like that warm feeling when I am about to sleep. It just feels heavier. So I like the light feeling of the natural HA. And then the fourth product that I would have repurchased is this 100% organic cold press Moroccan argan oil. Also because again, I prefer the natural moisturizing factors HA and I don't know, but oils feels heavier on the skin. Although you just have to like dab it on your skin when you're using this. And also this smells like medicine. It doesn't smell like chemical, but like you know, 
the good for you medicine. It actually says on the website that this would have a smell and it's it's natural smell. And I thought of using this on my hair, but I really don't like the scent of it, so I'm not going to repurchase this. The last product that I'm not going to repurchase is this Squalene Cleanser. I think it's very mild. It says that it will remove your makeup, but on the times that I put on makeup, I find that I always need to use micellar water and a stronger cleanser to remove my makeup. This is just very mild that I don't think that it removes all the makeup on my face. But if you have sensitive skin, I would really recommend this cleanser because it's very, very mild. Now let's go to my before and after photo. Before, my skin was really dry on the side of my cheeks. It's very crepey. Can't even see those now. But I really need a good eye cream. I bought the Ole Henriksen. And if you have any recommendations for good eye cream, please comment down below. I badly need it. I also find overall that my complexion is brighter. My hyperpigmentation is a tone or two lighter. I know this will take a while though, or I will need a stronger product. I'm really eyeing on their peel, the AHA plus BHA peel. But since when I was purchasing this products, I was actually just looking for a regimen for my dry skin. So solving my acne and solving my hyperpigmentation is just really a plus. And I'm just so happy that I bought these products. I mean, I know there is also a lot of products that I wouldn't repurchase, but I wouldn't be crying over it because honestly, I spent just $56 for everything. I didn't count this too, but, but I'm pretty sure these two are $10 less each. I know that I can still use this on my cuticles or the ends of my hair, so I'm not mad about it. And I'm really happy that now I have like a base skincare regimen and I know what works and doesn't work for my skin. And I'm also excited because today I'm going to start using my Therma Roller and I'm going to use this for a month and I will be doing a review after. So make sure that you hit that notification bell so you can always be updated with my videos. And if you love skincare videos like this, don't forget to check out my other videos right here. May your pores shrink day by day. May your skin glow like diamonds. And may you never ever see another pimple on your face ever again. I'll see you on my next one. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.